in the gizzard the food is macerated for this purpose the anterior part of the gizzard is suitable and it is called armarium the walls of armarium is lined by thick layer of cuticle and it is raised into six folds the anterior part of the armarium has teeth like structure while these teeth like structure at the back portion they form bristle like structure fine chitinous bristle which are also known as pulvillus these structure helps to filter the food hence very fine food particles can enter the midgut of alimentary canal before entering into the midgut the gizzard narrows into a long tubule and this narrow region of gizzard before opening into the mid gut is guarded by valve known as the stomedial valve this prevents the backward flow of the food particles the second part of alimentary canal is known as midgut or mesentron it is a long narrow tubular structure it also consists at the junction of foregut and midgut eight blind diverticula or tubules blind tubules called hepatic cecca these are equivalent to the liver of higher forms liver and pancreas of higher animals they are arranged in a ring or whorl or rosette fashion at the anterior part of the stomach they secrete the digestive enzymes 
the stomach of mid gut is also known as the ventriculus ventriculus or stomach is a short and narrow tube of uniform diameter it is concerned with the digestion and absorption of the food the third part of alimentary canal is called the hindgut or proctodeum this region extends between or after mid gut up to the anus this region is slightly broader than the mid gut at the junction of mid gut and hind gut are present ring of up to 150 or more yellow thread like blind tubules or diverticulum called the malpighian tubules malpighian tubules are the excretory organ in cockroach they help to remove the excretory product from the hemolymph and their product is poured into the ileum of hind gut hind gut is divided into three parts ileum colon and rectum ileum is short and narrow while colon is coiled and wide tube rectum is the last part of the hind gut it open to outside by anus which is present below the 10th tergum it is the last part of the alimentary canal it is short and swollen part the inner wall of rectum is folded into six longitudinal folds this longitudinal fold is called the rectal papillae the rectal papillae is lined by thick epithelium and thin cuticular layer rectum absorbs water from the waste matter hence we can say that it is here that the absorption of water occurs cockroach has a pair of salivary glands 
present in the thoracic region these are present on either side of the crop the salivary gland has two glandular lobes and a receptacle or reservoir glandular lobe consists of several irregular white colored lobules which has connecting collecting ducts they secrete the saliva the two gland duct of two salivary gland unite and form a common salivary duct thin walled transparent bag like structure is called the salivary receptacle they store the saliva so we can say that cockroach has two salivary gland each gland is made up of two glandular lobe and one reservoir or receptacle the two glandular lobes synthesize the salivary enzymes while the salivary receptacle stores the saliva the salivary gland of each side open by their individual duct into one common salivary duct that runs below the esophagus through the neck and open at the base of the tongue or hypopharynx on the floor of the mouth salivary gland open by common salivary duct into the preoral cavity saliva contains amylase chitinase cellulose cellulase etc the salivary lobules or the glandular lobules are made up of two types of cells first type of cell is called the zymogen cell and the second type of cell are called ductule containing cell these cells synthesize the secretory enzymes or the saliva the other digestive glands are the hepatic cecca and the glands of mesenteron the hepatic cecca secretes the enzymes 
into the stomach where further digestion of food is brought about. The hepatic CK secretes enzymes like trypsin, protease and peptidase. For the digestion of carbohydrates, enzyme like amylase, maltase and lactase are secreted. For digestion of fat, lipase enzyme is secreted. Besides, there are glands of mesenteron which also secretes the enzymes for digestion of the food. Food and feeding. Since cockroach is an omnivorous, it can feed on any food material and when food material is unavailable, it can also consume paper, cloth, wood, etc. Anything that it comes across. Cockroaches have antennae which enables them to know about their surroundings. These antennae have sensory setae which not only makes them aware of the object around them but also of the food available around them. In the salivarium region of mouth cavity the food which is taken in with the help of labrum chewed upon by mandibles and forced into the oral cavity the region called salivarium where these macerated food are mixed with the saliva. Thus, the food is made soft, bolus-like and it is pushed into the pharynx. Digestion of food starts along with 
the mixing of saliva as from mouth the food goes to pharynx esophagus gizzard where again it is further macerated made into fine paste like substance and in the crop the digestion starts by peristaltic movement the food is further pushed it is mixed with the enzymes from the hepatic ck in the uh, present in the junction of foregut and midgut and thus the food is further passed down in midgut the absorption and digestion or we can say the digestion and absorption occurs simultaneously the undigested food is again passed to the hindgut where still further absorption of food occurs the water absorption occurs in the rectum and undigested food is passed out of the rectum by anus the anus is guarded by spinster muscle which controls the action of waste ejection respiratory system respiratory system 